gonna make a move out here when we came up the hill because they were gobbling about right where the truck was. I don't know what to do. He's gobbling his butt off. He's gobbling like crazy. I got one goblin out here. Oh, might be two birds. They seem to like to travel right here on the edge of this big woods. Right above the creek, so. We got big what's going on. Heard some birds on the roost. Uh, kind of got quiet. The decoy was down here and uh, they were with hens and they just walked right on down to us. That goblin's up this morning. And we know there's some turkey on it. Hey guys, welcome to Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Jim Davis. And I'm Dave Bunnell. And up first this week, we're going to head to Jackson County, West Virginia with Pro Staff member Gary Shepard, and he's looking to tag out. Okay, well, I'm kind of in a mad rush. Um, I had a doctor's appointment this morning and uh, had it hard yesterday. Didn't, I got into some birds, but didn't uh, didn't kill anything. And rained a lot last night. Still kind of misty and rainy, so, you know, no big deal. Got back from my appointment there about 9.30 and... Uh, get a text from my dad hey there's three gobblers in my field right now uh, with a hen so I'm thinking what the heck you know so I thought well I got two hours and uh, I know where there's three gobblers so I'm packing up here getting ready to roll and uh, so we'll just see what happens you never know one of them may get fired up and come right in you just you got to take advantage of every opportunity you get so I'm headed out there now Had seen them three gobblers in a hayfield about probably 250 yards straight down to my left. He watched them walk up in the woods in this direction, so I made a big loop and got up in here where I think I'm above them. So I'm going to stay here as long as I can stand it. Just do a little call and maybe they'll show up, so we'll see how it goes. I'm running out of time. I got about an hour and a half left that I can hunt, so I would have made a move down closer to this field. I remember last year there was a bird in that field, late morning, and he worked his way up along the longest hillside right here where I'm at. There's no hall road right here, big woods above us, kind of thick below us, and then, then a creek and a field. They seem to like to travel right here on the edge of this big woods right above the creek, so I just got up here, got set up. You know, you're always better off if you can be where the turkeys want to go anyway, so I'm here and we'll see what happens. Boys, I'm running out of time. I got about 45 minutes left before one o'clock. These birds won't answer, they won't gobble, but I think they're still in that field down there. So I thought, what the heck, I ain't got a whole lot to lose. I'm gonna make a, a real, you know, a real brave move on them. So I slipped down in here, literally, not even a hundred yards from the corner of this field. And birds, I've seen them leave this field before, come right up this little holler. So that's the plan.
When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. RG has a complete selection of new Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get you to the hunt. Our experienced team will help you get outdoors on the model that best fits your needs today. The business office can provide you easy payments to fit your budget. RG has a fully stocked accessories to customize your ride. The fully trained service team is here to maintain your Yamaha and keep it in top running condition. RG Motorsports in Bridgeport has been serving our community for 60 years. The fun starts here at RG. Your time is valuable, and when you're ready to sell your home, farm, or commercial property, the key word is ready. Why list your property for up to a year and wait for buyers to find it? We find the buyers. With Joe Arpao Auctions, you choose the day your property sells. Our targeted marketing brings buyers from across the nation. We sell your property in six weeks or less, not in months. Don't wait, call 855-JOE-WILL to schedule your free consultation. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Call State Farm agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Hey, if you'd like to follow along with the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors team throughout the entire year, be sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. Well, probably not very pretty video, but I think I got a big one. I need to get down there and make sure he's down. Man, I fooled with these birds all morning. with a long shot. But man, I'm telling you, that Apex TSS, it reaches out there and puts them down. Okay, I gotta hurry down there and make sure he's, at, he's down. I can't see him. Okay, folks, I am tagged out in Jackson County. I tell you what, it feels good to be tagged out because the turkey hunting has been pretty tough this year. And, uh, you know, I was, I was fortunate to kill a bird the first morning. And uh, since then, it's been rough. I really haven't even hardly felt like I've worked a bird. And uh, I didn't plan to hunt this morning. It's rainy, and I had a doctor's appointment. And I uh, got back about 9.30, and sure enough, there was a couple of turkeys out in the end of a hay field here on our farm. And I thought, hey, I got, you know, I got two and a half hours, and... And I know where there's a couple gobblers, so I'm going to make a move. So made a big loop and got up on the flat there above them, and uh, or where I, you know, where I'd last seen them, and did some calling, nothing. Move, made a move, did some calling, nothing, and uh, I was running out of time. So I thought, well, I'm going to make a bold move, and I moved right down here close to this field, as close as I thought I could get. I left my decoys behind, left my turkey vest behind, and uh, just brought my Hardy's mouth call, my camera, and my shotgun, and. Uh, I got just no more and got sit down and uh, sure enough I looked down there and seen a redhead coming and uh, there's a real nice beach holler right here off the end of this field and they like to come up in that holler when they leave that field and uh, I knew that from past experience and that's where I was sitting and uh, really didn't even, I mean I made a few soft calls but not, not much calling at all but uh, anyway I was able to get on him make a shot and uh, tickled to death to kill this bird and uh, you know 
My dad handed down his shotgun to me and I've killed two with it this year, so I think I'm in love with that shotgun already. And uh, thanks for being with me today and uh, thanks for watching the brothers of the woods outdoors. Boy, Jim, when Gary got that call from his dad, he knew he had to get out there and he took full advantage of the opportunity. Hey, up next, we're headed out with pro staffer Eli Gain in Doddridge County. But up first is this week's tip of the week. Alrighty, well, I was up here brushing the blind in this morning, getting ready for turkey season. I like to have one set up and ready in case we have a rainy day. I got a place to get in to dry, but I want to talk a little bit about decoy placement. And I say I got my blind set up right here. I got a turkey gobbling out this ridge a couple hundred yards or whatever. Uh, whether I'm in a blind or not, if I set it up right here and I got a bird out this ridge answering me or gobbling, I like to put those decoys close to me. I mean, I, I wouldn't hesitate to have that decoy 10 yards or closer to where I'm sitting because a lot of times that bird's going to come in and he may hang up out there about 20 or 30 yards before he gets to the decoy. That still puts him within 30, 40 yards of where you're at. So, you know, you should be able to get a shot at that bird with no problem. But you know, if you stuck that decoy out there, 20 or 30 yards and he hangs up another 20 or 30 yards you're probably not you know he's probably out of range so i like to get him right in tight to me i mean you don't have to wait till he comes all the way in uh you can sure get a shot at him before he gets there but uh i just feel like the closer the better in that situation so just something you might think about this spring when you're setting up your decoys i'm gary shepherd and that's your joe r pile auction services tip of the week two wheels of four the fun starts here at rg's RG has a complete selection of new Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get you to the hunt. Our experienced team will help you get outdoors on the model that best fits your needs today. The business office can provide you easy payments to fit your budget. RG has a fully stocked accessories to customize your ride. The fully trained service team is here to maintain your Yamaha and keep it in top running condition. RG Motorsports in Bridgeport has been serving our community for 60 years. The fun starts here at RG. Hope Gas proudly provides service to more than 112,000 customers in 35 West Virginia counties. We currently employ over 400 employees right here in our beautiful mountain state. Our team is not only dedicated to providing quality service, but also to improving the communities in which we work. Please visit our website, hopegas.com, for more information or call our customer service department at 1-800-688-4673. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Hey guys, I'm Dylan with Johnson's Wildlife Taxidermy Studio. We're located in Grafton, West Virginia. I'd appreciate it if you would consider us for all your taxidermy needs. Safe hunting and God bless. Hi, I'm Todd Linker from Linker Tax Service. We do accounting, tax, payroll, and more. If you need someone to prepare your taxes for you for your business this year, stop by or give us a call, 304-657-2860. We do taxes. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. Hey guys, Eli Game with Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Um, it's the third weekend of the West Virginia season. Um, things started off pretty good for us. I was able to get wild turkey on uh, second day of youth season here, but um, after that, it's been tough sledding. Um, ain't had much luck. I've been hearing some birds, got to work a few, but they're hinned up pretty bad and ain't having much luck. They're just hinned up real tight right now, but uh, 
there's been a bird in here the last couple mornings I've hunted. Um, he's either on the, either on this side of the hall I'm on or the other side. I'm hoping he's on my side this morning because I got a pretty good game plan. But if not, we'll just get around to the other side and see what we can make it happen over there. But uh, stick with me, see if we can get it done, and maybe I can have some luck here in Dodger County this morning. set up here that's ideal. I had to come down over the bank from the top of the road on this right way because they're building a right way on the ridge top out there where he's at and I can't I don't have anything to set up on. When you get up on top of this road walk road it's just wide open. It's 150, 200 foot wide, wide open with the road in the middle of it and he's on the edge of it. He's probably he's probably up on the road now strutting but I don't have any way to get to him and he's not budging. And it's almost impossible to get a turkey to come downhill when you're, I don't know. I don't know what to do. He's gobbling his butt off. He's gobbling like crazy. But I don't have a play because there's nothing up there for me to get to. Because if there was, I'd have been there first thing instead of coming down this right away and setting up. But he's just right across the hall. Well, he's not that far away. Maybe I'll make a play and get across the right away and work my way around. I might have to try that, but I think he's already on the ground in the road. back out behind me here somewhere. I don't know, let's see what happens.
Your time is valuable, and when you're ready to sell your home, farm, or commercial property, the key word is ready. Why list your property for up to a year and wait for buyers to find it? We find the buyers. With Joe R. Powell Auctions, you choose the day your property sells. Our targeted marketing brings buyers from across the nation. We sell your property in six weeks or less, not in months. Don't wait. Call 855-JOE-WILL to schedule your free consultation. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. At Hope Gas, safety is always our focus. If you plan on digging, state law requires you call WV811 to have lines located at least 48 hours before you begin any excavation. If you accidentally hit a Hope Gas pipeline, no matter how minor it may seem, leave the area immediately and call Hope Gas at 800-934-3187 and 911. Call State Farm Agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated and these fine sponsors. Closed captioning is brought to you by RDR Ready Mix Concrete.
three years in the making. I haven't killed a turkey. It's the first turkey I've killed, and I didn't kill one of the last two, and I finally got on one this morning. Um, I was really beginning to wonder if, but I got on one early this morning right off the roost, and he had his with him, and I was chasing him around the side of the bank over there. And these three over here lit up, and they was on fire. They came from a pretty good long ways away. And um, they were three two-year-olds, fired up, ready to go. So I come up on this side of the road, got set up, and just started calling lightly, and they come right around the hill. And as you can see, they strutted right up. He came right up over the hill within maybe 18 yards, and the old apex rolled him right back down the hill. And I'm not even sure if I got it on camera or not. Um, I know the camera was in that direction, but it was so thick in here, and I thought I had him, and maybe I didn't, maybe I did, but you know what? It is what it is at this point. This is the first turkey I've taken in two years, and I couldn't be happier. Well, I got his first turkey, his second turkey earlier this year in youth season, and that was the first one he's got on in two years. This is our third going, this was going to be our third season without getting any turkeys off this farm. Um, it's been a struggle, and I'm just tickled to death that I could finally make it happen, because I was really starting to doubt myself. Um... But I'm glad, super happy with this bird. Solid, solid turkey. Um, got a nice beard, got good spurs. He's been fighting, his spurs are broke off. So he's been doing some fighting course, there's three of them together. So I'd say the the battle's on. But like I said, that bird this morning, I've heard seven or eight birds this morning. It's the most birds I've heard since youth weekend back here. So, and these birds was all by themselves and it's fired up and it's coming and they came fast. I mean, they was, 300 yards across the hall and I just started yelping and clucking and they just came running so it was quick it didn't take a matter, matter of a couple minutes to get in here but um, like I said extremely happy this morning here in Dodgers County um, first turkey I've gotten a chance to take a shot at in a couple years and I finally got to fill a tag and uh, been a great morning and who knows maybe I can get back up here tomorrow morning and fill the second one and be over with the season but uh, we're gonna see what we can do but uh, as always I want to thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors Man, I tell you, that had to feel good to Eli. He was on a two-year drought, and he wasn't waiting any longer. It couldn't have felt any better than that, Jim. Hey, and up next week, we've got two exciting hunts lined up. Jim, we're going to head to Harrison County with you, buddy, and you got your good buddy and pro staff member Gary Stevens running the camera. And then we're going to go back out with pro staff member Gary Shepard, and he has another youth hunter. Hey, in the meantime, be sure to follow along with us on our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube and our Carbon TV channels, where you can watch our hunts anytime. And as always, thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. <laughs>